Hello, everybody. Reverend Dr. Right here. Now, I just want to go over the fact that I've been paying attention to a lot of um, YouTube videos and other types of broadcasting from other Christian pastors. <clears throat> and what's disturbing me is that there's this one particular pastor, I'm not going to say his name here. A few of you watching my videos might know who I'm talking about, because I know that quite a few of you also watch this particular pastor's videos, or have watched at least one of the particular pastor's videos. Uh, refuses to call himself a Christian. Instead, he calls himself a Hebrew or an Israelite. I think in one video, he even referred to himself as a, as a Hebraic Israelite. He preaches Jesus, Jesus Christ. He preaches the truth. Um, there's not too much me and this particular pastor don't agree with. <clears throat> a lot of what he says, just about, in just about everything he says, I agree with him a hundred percent. I mean, he's preaching the truth, <clears throat> the straight on truth. Um, he's preaching Jesus, he's preaching, he's using the uh, authorized version of his 1611 King James Version Bible. Um, you know, me and him are on the same page with a lot of stuff. As far as what he preaches is concerned, we're on the same page. We're, we're, we're both preaching the truth, more or less. What I do have a problem with him about is he refuses to call himself a Christian. He goes as far as saying that Christians are the most ignorant people on the face of the planet. Um, and that's where I have to disagree with him. Because I believe he said that he lives in, some, in North Carolina. So, at any rate, he's from America. You can just tell. Which tells me that he's not looking at Christianity of what Christianity is, as I am, which is one of the reasons why I will still call myself a Christian, despite what many say about Christians. Um, He, he's looking at it, he's looking at Christianity, uh, how everybody else in America, at least in America, seems to be looking at Christianity. You go to any church on the street corner there, 9 out of 10, maybe even, even a higher percentage of that, you're going to walk into a mainstream church. 97% of the, of the Christian churches in America are mainstream churches. Okay? And what he has to preach, when he's talking about the wrong teachings and then and the blasphemies and the heresy that's inside the Christian church, that's what he's talking about. But he's encompassing it like that's what Christianity is. And no, it isn't. That's not what Christianity is. Mainstream Christianity is not the same thing as true Christianity. And so many people, including this one particular pastor, but so many people seem to have that misconception that Western Christianity is Christianity. And no, it's not. <clears throat> if you are lucky, if you walk into a mainstream Christian church, you're, getting, you're going to hear roughly 50% of the truth. If you're lucky. In most cases, you're going to be hearing less than that of the truth. And then you're going to be filled in with this heresy and blasphemy <coughs> that they were told to teach to you from the government. <coughs> these, these aren't Christian churches, these aren't Christian establishments. These are government ran establishments. <coughs> using the title of Christian Church, of Christianity. <clears throat> and then just to make matters worse, okay, in Jesus' ministry, 
Mm-hmm. Was exactly that. It was all based on the truth. He told us how to be. He told us how ministry is supposed to work. I mean, he was rather clear on all this, on all this fact. Then around the 300s, you had the formation of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church probably saying that, that they're a true church, that they're the direct extension of Jesus' ministry, and no, they're not. What the Catholic Church really is, is a marriage of Christianity and paganism. And that's all it is. If you do your due diligence and do you, you know, do your research, do you study your history, you'll see that, that they have to, you'll see that to be true. And then what you have is Protestant churches that broke off of the Catholic Church. So yes, they don't exactly preach the same thing as the Catholic Church does. They they have more strict into the Bible and the teachings of Jesus, but you still have some of some of the uh, heresy that was taught by the Catholics inbred into the teachings of of the Protestant churches. It doesn't matter if you're a Baptist, Lutheran, what have you. You're all denominations of Protestantism, which is a breakaway of Catholicism which is a marriage of paganism and, and Christianity. If you look at the timeline from the different Christian churches, the, the, the constant stream of Jesus' ministry, where it was, convert, it was consistent from, from Jesus' ministry all the way through, was actually killed off by the Catholics in roughly 700 A.D. And yet you had spurts of ministries in between that time period and today that preached the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, exactly how Jesus taught it, and the ministry worked exactly as Jesus' ministry worked. But it's a broken timeline. It's only a straight timeline up to 700 AD, and then it's a broken timeline where you have a piece of it here, a piece of it here, a piece of it here. Because what happens is, nine times out of ten, if you look at it, those particular ministries that were preaching in the way Jesus had taught, and were continuing Jesus' ministry, only went as far as the founding pastor. Once the founding pastor had died, that was the end of that particular ministry. It died with the pastor. Or it would go from a few generations, and then it would just die out. If that particular ministry is still around today, from whenever it first started in time, what you would see is that back when it first started, the first pastor, the first couple of generations of pastors, it might have been in a direct extension of Jesus' ministry, but then they kind of tailed off and kind of went their own way and pretty much became a cult. You're not exactly falling in line with the Catholics, but you're not exactly falling in line with Jesus' ministry anymore either. So granted, the ministry might still be in existence today, it's not exactly how they started out to begin with, and therefore it's no longer going to show on the timeline that they are a direct extension of Jesus' ministry because in all actuality they aren't. And again, back to my point I'm trying to make here is that mainstream Christianity is not Christianity. Mainstream Christianity is not true Christianity. Western Christianity is not true Christianity. So, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it if people, especially some particular pastor, that seems to be very well educated, very knowledgeable, he's a very wise man, <clears throat> as are other people that I've heard these remarks from, and they're all very educated, very intelligent, and very wise people. But that is, they think that's a mis- misconception from that because more than 97% of the Christian churches here in America 
are heretical and blasphemous and in nature, and they aren't preaching the whole truth at all. As I said, if you're lucky, you're only going to hear roughly 50% of the truth being preached to you. The other 50% is all lies and blasphemy. Um, and in most cases, you won't even get that much of the truth. It'll be a lot less than that. <coughs> Isn't that a misconception? That because uh, the fact that the majority of the churches, more than 97% of the churches, <coughs> are preaching that, that, that therefore must be Christianity. And no, it isn't. Take a look at what you're preaching yourself. Take a look at what all the other 3% of the, of the Christian uh, pastors in America are preaching. <coughs> we are preaching the truth. Our ministries are direct extensions of Jesus' ministry. If you fly over to Europe and visit Europe or visit the, the churches in the Mideast, a lot of them. These are all, those are all Christian churches. They are direct extensions of Jesus' ministry. Now, I'm not including the Catholic entities or the private entities because here again those came later from Western Christianity or Western eyes Christianity. It's not true Christianity that this back to Jesus is time. The true Christian churches Eastern Christianity, uh Celtic Christianity, um you know the the really old day Christianity that dates well before Catholicism even came into existence, that is still around today. Take a look at that. That is true Christianity. That is what Christianity is. This American Christianity, with all this blasphemy that, 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 that's being uttered out of these sheer heretics that are known as your Catholic priests and your Protestant pastors, following the lines of this interfaithist agenda. And that is not Christianity. That is mainstream Christianity. And that is following the, 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 the agenda of the New World Order. That, that is allowing the, uh, for the creation of this, of this one world religion. Because it's, it, it's blinding the, the differences between the different faiths. It is suggesting that all of these different faiths are all worshiping one and the same God, when in fact we are. We are following the one true God. These mainstream Christians are not following the one true God. Islam is not following the one true God. These other faiths are not following the one true God. And as I point out in numerous other videos, if you look at the Mahdi of the Quran, and if you look at the Antichrist of the Bible, they are one and the same. Now how can the, the, the enemy of the Christians and the savior of the Islam being one and the same being or entity leads you to come to the conclusion that Muslims and Christians are following the same God. No, the mainstream Christians and the Muslims might be following the one and the same God because if you look at their Bibles, for one, they're being taught heresy. No, that, that's sheer blasphemy that these people are believing on. But if you look at their Bibles, that they're having, that they're having these Christians reading these churches, it's very, very occasional that it would be a King James Version Bible. A lot of them is the, the New International Version, or the New King James Version, or there's other more modern translations that literally take the deity out of Christ. You know, take the deity out of Christ, and they make all those other changes, and take verses right out of the Bible that's supposed to be there, but take the verses right out of the Bible, and you completely slaughter other verses. <coughs> and what you're doing is you're making it look more and more and more and more like Islam, which is only making it that much more easier for the conversion of so-called Christians to the Islamic faith. 
And whoever is going to try to stay true that they're Christians, they're followers of Jesus Christ, they will not want to look at Muslims, or more importantly, the belief system of Islam as the enemy, because there's, there's, similar, there's so many similarities. When in all actuality, in all reality, if you read the Bible, and if you actually understand what the Bible says, and you take it in word for word, what God is trying to say to you, <clears throat> there is no similarities whatsoever between Christianity and Islam, or Christianity and any other faith. Christianity is, is a Judaic faith. We have <clears throat> no relation whatsoever to Islam or any of these other faiths. Christianity, in a nutshell, is more or less just another sect of Judaism. And yes, I'm going to go as far as saying that it's a sect of Judaism that is correct. And the Christians, the true Christians, are the ones that are following 100% truth, the 100% true word of God. We were, we were the Jews that recognized prophecy being fulfilled, and we were the Jews that recognized the first coming of the Messiah, and now we await the second coming of the Messiah to, to take us home. <clears throat> Whereas the Jews of the other sects of Judaism have not yet recognized <clears throat> the coming of the Messiah. <clears throat> they were blind about the Doria. So, yes, unlike what most pastors would like to believe, we, we still must preach to these other Jews, the other sects of Judaism, because of the fact that they are still blinded, they are still lost. We were given the job by Jesus, as were the apostles originally. We were all given the job by Jesus to, to preach to our brethren and bring our brethren back into the light, back onto the right path. The fact that, that there are all these other sects of Judaism that are still found on the wrong path and still don't recognize the coming of the Messiah, it is our job to preach to our brothers and sisters and show them the light and show them the truth and bring them, bring them back to God. But we are not, in any way, shape, or form, <coughs> mainstream Christianity, and we absolutely have nothing in common with the Islamic faith. <coughs> Islam, to make themselves appeal to Christians and the Jews and everything, to convert to them, when, when Muhammad first created this faith known as Islam, kind of stole from, from these other faiths. <clears throat> and that's all that that is. And actually, they, they go as far as relating themselves to Abraham through the son Ishmael, which is not the son that we are all descendants of. So, at best, at best, Muslims are our cousins, but they are not our brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and so, yes, we still need to preach to them, they still deserve to hear the gospel and get the chance to come into the truth and the light, <coughs> and that is Jesus Christ, but you know nothing in common with them. So all the people that are trying to believe the fact that, because 97% of the Christian churches here in America are, is Christianity, <coughs> and you're wrong. That is not what Christianity is. So if you're going to believe on the Bible, and if you're going to believe on Jesus Christ, and that's fine, you want to quote up a Hebrew, an Israelite, a Jew, because in all actuality we are Jews. But don't be ashamed to call yourself Christians, and don't bash your Christian brothers and sisters, because you don't have an understanding of what Christianity is. And I would like an explanation on how you people can be so intelligent, so well educated and so wise, but at the same time be so stupid and so uneducated. <clears throat> I and mean, I don't understand how I literally everything you other pastors <clears throat> and individuals are saying we can be on the same page with. And then there's the Christian bashing. <clears throat> 
American mainstream Christianity is not true Christianity. <clears throat> Will I sit here and call myself an Israelite? Yes, I am. Because connect what I am. I am preaching the truth. I'm a follower of the truth. Therefore, I am an Israelite. <clears throat> and I'm sure if I stretch my bloodline back far enough, it'll show that that's where my descendants come, descendants come from. Uh, will I sit here and call myself a Jew? <clears throat> yes, I will. Because, in a sense, like I said, Christianity is just another sect of Judaism. It's just a Judaism that recognizes the coming of the Messiah. And now we await the second coming of the Messiah. But at the same time, I will also say here, and call myself a Christian. Because that's exactly what I am. I'm a, I'm a true Christian. I don't belong to the mainstream Christianity. I'm a preacher of true Christianity. I, I, I belong to the 3% of us pastors out there that are preaching the truth. But apparently there's an even smaller percent of you can I refuse to call those Christians altogether. So you you refer to yourself to, as Israelites, which isn't wrong. It would just be more correct if you wouldn't bash Christians as a whole. Because here again, American Christianity is not Christianity. Mainstream Christianity is not true Christianity. If you look at what Jesus taught, and if you look at mainstream Christianity, as you say, say to yourselves, it is not the same thing. It is two different beliefs. Therefore, you must understand then that that is not true Christianity. The reason why you must look at, that, look at it that way is because it's even stated that it was a good hundred years after Jesus died, <coughs> now we were first called <coughs> Christians. When Jesus was, was on the planet, when Jesus was crucified and was resurrected, and when the apostles went out to preach and gather up, and when they were told to gather up, and they started planting churches, they were still calling themselves Jews. That's exactly what they were. They were Jews. They're Israelites. That's what they were. That's not, that's not a wrong title. You're not wrong for calling yourself that. But it also states that they were given the name of, a, of Christian to separate, for the purpose of separating the followers of Jesus Christ from the rest of them. So the fact that the Christian title has been around for that long, which is still prior to the formation of the Catholic Church, that, that is what true Christianity is. And Jesus Christ's teachings is true Christianity. Not what Christianity has become here in America. What Christianity has become is not true Christianity. So please, let's stop the Christian bashing. I mean, it's fine and great that you're preaching the gospel, you're believing on Jesus Christ, you're preaching the truth. I mean, as I said, we are, we are on the same page as far as everything I preach and everything you preach. I think the only thing that's different about it is our wording. Because that naturally everybody has their own way of saying things. But the message behind what we are saying is still the same. We are preaching the same thing. The only difference is I call myself a Christian and, and, and you bash Christians. You're calling Christians ignorant. I'm a Christian, I'm not ignorant. I'm preaching the same thing you are. You're preaching the same thing, you are preaching the same thing I am. The only difference is, I realize 
what true Christianity is. A few others of us can realize what true Christianity is. Then there's the small few of you who seem to have it be in this box with the rest of America and that mainstream Christianity is Christianity, when in fact it isn't. So before you continue bashing Christianity, when you're a Christian yourself, let's understand what true Christianity is and what mainstream Christianity is and that mainstream Christianity can simply become Christianity has become through the heresy and blasphemy that has been allowed in, into these churches by the pastors and forced upon other churches by the government. That's what mainstream Christianity is. Mainstream Christianity in no way to perform is true Christianity. In most cases you're getting under half of the truth. If you're, luck if you're lucky, you will get half the truth. Half of the truth preached to you in the mainstream church. And that is it. The rest of it is all lies. And I'm sorry, but half truth and all lies is not truth. Therefore, it is not true Christianity. I don't know how many more times I can say this. You know, I don't know how many times I've repeated that in the past 27 minutes. So I'm going to cut the video here. I'm almost getting a little frustrated. I mean, I don't understand how you people can be so intelligent, so educated, and at the same time be, be so stupid. I would love an explanation on that. And considering Kim is the job of each of us to help our brothers and sisters when they're going astray, and it's our job to help our brothers and sisters further their development spiritually, and that is what I'm trying to do here. Because you you are right on the ball as far as truth is concerned, except that one small small little fact, which is only helping to breed the pure hatred towards our faith, <coughs> and you're not helping bring the faith by by bashing your own people. You're turning people away by bashing your own people. So let's understand the difference between mainstream Christianity and true Christianity. And let's stop bashing your own people, your own brethren. That's not helping anybody. God bless.